Good morning and God bless. Vision of the Sun. Progress in Toledo, Ohio, third largest city for child trafficking. Ohio facts on child exploitation. Lieutenant Jared Sutton of the Ohio State Highway Patrol reported the following facts in, on January 12, 2017. A large volume of vehicle traffic flows across the northern border of Ohio, especially on Interstate Highway 80. This is an opportunity for trafficking in people. Ohio overall is the fifth largest state for trafficking individuals in the, in the USA. The largest demographic of traffic individuals in Ohio is 21 to 30 years old. The second largest cohort is 16 to 17 years old and the third largest group is 13 to 15 years old. At least 4,000 calls are made to Chicago's trafficking hotline in 2016 were made to Ohio's trafficking hotline. The Ohio State Highway Patrol made stopping human trafficking a priority in 2017. According to international to the International Labor Force, the money illegally acquired through human trafficking is estimated to be more than 35 billion dollars Ohio Department of Health reported in uh, October 2016 that is actually absolutely staggering that's insane if you think you've seen a victim of human trafficking child or adult even an infant contact the following organization anytime toll free 24 hours a day National Human Trafficking Resource Center 188-373-7888 Fast progress from 2016 to 2020. A new organization in Central Ohio began operation in 2012 to stop and prevent child exploitation and trafficking. Its name is One Voice for Freedom and is led by its founder, Ms. Nicole Bromley. The dedicated activist Nicole teaches supportive classes to survivors of child abuse and trafficking and their families and led and lead related support groups. I have observed that her classes and purchased Hush and follow up books that help us as medical practitioners, volunteers and survivors to understand targets of the trafficking industries, both sex and forced labor in order to help former victims into health and healing. Her company is an outgrowth of One Voice founded in 2003 to help the targets of child abuse. Since 2016, I have heard increasing numbers of reports about Nicole's work internationally while her group's effort in the USA has spread quickly since 2013. According to her website, she speaks at community organizations, churches, universities, schools, and prisons to build awareness that helps to stop trafficking before it begins. Meanwhile, she offers support to those working on the streets and coming out of that forced work into safe houses in the form of large cloth bags filled with such things as toiletries, and restaurant gift cards, makeovers, and hot meals. One Voice for Freedom offering serves runaways and homeless youth, which are at risk for exploitation. In 2019, Project Protect made Ohio the 14th state to receive ongoing state funding to stop child exploitation and trafficking through legislation called Alicia's Law. Praise God for that. The Ohio Investigative Unit makes progress. In 2017 and 2018, 
Our state more fully engages and equips law enforcement personnel to find targets of human exploitation and trafficking and provide them with practical help. The governor, John Kanishish, and a previously and a previous safety director, John Bourne, initiated coalitions in every part of Ohio by soliciting and gain help from the Ohio Investigative Unit Division of Plainclothes Officers in the Ohio State Highway Patrol. Ohio's continued progress to 2016. During 2014, Ford Magazine and Sparlin's Best Places named Toledo, Ohio as the fourth top city of opportunity in America, especially through efforts of local government and the University of Toledo. In 2016, Judge Paul M. Harbor in Columbus, Ohio, felt that the Ohio State University can be a leader in the study to end human trafficking, especially through a specialized office established on the Columbus main campus. The beginnings of such an office were initiated at the OSU Extension office in June 2016. That's the Ohio State University. In America, over 100,000 children are exploited, and Ohio is still suited or cited as the major hub of this activity. Despite anti trafficking progress in Toledo, a gateway city. All right, we got some more here to read. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Bear with me, guys. Uh, this is very important. In 2012, 2014, 2018, Ohio passed laws to significantly strengthen its legal framework to combat human trafficking through increased penalties for offenders and increased legal protection for victims. Task Force Report 2019. Anti Human Trafficking Task Force Coalition. As of April 2019, Ohio supports at least 22 coalitions actively working against exploitation and trafficking around the state. A five county coalition around Toledo is called the Lucas County Human Trafficking Coalition in the counties of Lucas, Homer, Toledo, Wood, Owatama, Sandusky, home of Cedar Point and Seneca. Like many of the coalition is adversaries, it advertises help through brochures distributed in public places, Facebook, community outreach projects, radio broadcasts, walk-ins, and others. Summary report, January 2019. Data for years 2014 to 2017 were analyzed and reported by the task force overall in January 2019. The full report is available here. There's a link for it. A table with victim numbers may look inflated, but this is because some individuals are recognized by more than one helping agency. Since this report was released, a large project that included local, state, and federal agencies in Asian community group during 2017 and 2018 was added to find foreign nationals trafficked in Ohio. Through a U.S. Health and Human Services grant, 208 such individuals from 2014 to 2017 have already been recorded and helped. We await new information from the larger project at this time, the future of progress. The state Task Force involves many government agencies within Ohio and the federal government, as well as community organizations, individuals, interested businesses that include nonprofits like Nicole Bromsley's Truckers Against Trafficking and others. The overall program is far reaching and more effective every month, and current Governor Mike DeWine supports it fully. And there's another link there for a video on YouTube. Community Prevention Program, the Vineyard Movement. The Vineyard Church Movement is involved in social justice concerns 
including the exploitation of children and adults trafficking into all kinds of unpaid labor, not only sex related. The national headquarters for this church movement is Vineyard Organization, Vineyard.org in Central Ohio, an extensive program to help trafficking victims, including include helping place individuals into counseling, safe dwellings, education, and job placement services, and even material assistance. During 2013, data suggested that Toledo already enjoys some success in combating the trafficking program. An article in the Toledo Blade titled, Fender Renews Push to Toughen Trafficking Laws, show how Representative Teresa Fordor D. Toledo struggled with the Senator when she suggested legislators to raise the age of consent to become a prostitute to 18. She finally, she was finally successful. That's a shame, man, that they even fighting over that. They should have given her what she wanted. You see how they put the senators, quote unquote, because those are some corrupt, vile, nasty, pedophilia people. Because they, they, they want, they want to, they want to leave. They wanted to leave it where it was 16. Because believe me, they, these people messed with children. Some of them did. I know one of them is implicated in that, and, and hopefully he's going to come out soon with all this stuff that Trump's got ready for people. There's a, it's like 4,000 page um, classified documents that's about to be released, and all types of people are going to go down. Can't wait to see that. Rock City Church programs. Rock City meets on several campuses and helps families and individuals in need, especially the homeless, single parents, and victims of trafficking. Pastor Chad Fisher and his family came to Ohio, Central Ohio from Toledo and is active in anti-trafficking work and partnering with the Dream Center in downtown Columbus. Rock City reports that in tra a trafficking corridor that especially needs attention extends from Columbus north to Toledo and the further on to the Detroit slash Windsor. The Ohio Turnpike is also a route along which victims can be kidnapped. Grace Haven House. Gracehavenhouse.org is the first group in Ohio in Ohio to provide a group home for children and youth taken out of human trafficking of the human trafficking system. Previously to this, they had to be sent to jail by law. That's insane. Former governor, how do you mean send the kids to jail by law? Why would they have to go to jail? I don't understand what they mean by that. This is crazy right here. Wow. Former governor, I have to look into more of this. I will to find out what, what were they doing these kids. They were putting them in jail just because they were in the human trafficking system. Whoa. Former governor John Kashik signed legislation to set up obligatory co cooperation of state and local agencies and organizations to allow them to use their resources together for the good of trafficking victims and this includes Grace Haven. Traffickers commonly use violence, stress, debt, bondage and other forms of deceit and coercion to compel those and children into servitude. Ohio State University Extension, coming Ohio, uh, Columbus. This is some of the highways that they use. They're showing a map of I-80 and 80, so I-90, the Ohio Turnpike spots where they, um, you know, they're known for the trafficking. And then this here is a map of the Transport Gateway to Air and Rail Hubs, U.S. and Canadian Highways. All right, Toledo supplies Las Vegas. Toledo is the third largest gateway city for child sex tourism trafficking in America since 2010. Because it is a poor city and border city, children as young as six months old have been sold for exploitation purposes. Unbelievable. Professor Celia Williamson of the University of Toledo chaired a task force for research into Ohio's 
contribution to the trafficking industry and initial results estimated Toledo to be the fourth place nationally as a gateway city. At least 1,800 people at any point in time in Ohio are held in trafficking bondage. But the governor's task force is decreasing this number in 2019. Miami, Florida, Portland, Oregon, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Toledo have been the top four U.S. gateway cities. But the young female and male Las Vegas victims come mostly from Toledo, pushing it up to the third place overall. Unfortunately, grandmothers that have been trafficked and worked as prostitutes have groomed their own children and grandchildren into the industry. This is third generation human trafficking that is trapping grandmothers, daughters, and granddaughters, as well as some men and boys. This up here, I wanted to make a comment about this. If, if that was going on and they bringing it to Las Vegas, they need to shut that whole corrupt, nasty, vile city down as prostitution is legal. It's only legal there, but it's not legal. It's not, it's illegal everywhere else in the country. Now, what's that speak of our country? That's our country saying that it's okay to do that in, in Las Vegas. They need to just shut that whole city down. But of course, they're making too much money there. It's all about the money and, and, and the corruption. So, or the money that leads to the corruption. So, you know, this just speaks volumes, you know, but that's, this is America. How anyone can help. Since May 1st, 2010, people around the nation have been communicating to the U.S. federal government that they want to strengthen efforts towards ending child sex trafficking and tourism. If they really cared, they would shut down Las Vegas and get the problem eradicated. But no, they don't care enough to shut the city down. Shut that whole city down. Don't let no business come in or out until they know there's no more children being victimized there and then we can talk. They have contacted the government by phone, snail mail, and internet. Toledo is the third largest gateway city for this human trafficking crime, and they are communicating with the state and local leaders in Ohio in an ongoing conversation that seeks to end human trafficking violations in our state because Toledo is so close to Detroit and large old Ontario province Providence cities. Heavy trafficking flows through Toledo to other places, including Las Vegas and overseas. We want to we want it to end. For the larger effort, you can if you wish to if you wish call, write, or email the US Secretary of State and our US Attorney General to declare your support for strong enforcing anti trafficking laws and upholding human rights globally. Our friend from out of the country are emailing Secretary of State Clinton because she's interested in ending this problem globally for everyone. <clears throat> Clinton, yeah, okay. On an individual level, we can remain alert to signs of child sex trafficking and report any signs that we see to the toll free number at the head of this page. I don't know why they even talking about Clinton. She's not Secretary of State anymore. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, you got people replying here. Link will be in the description below. Make sure you guys like, share, share, share. Show Jesus Christ you care and share. I have a three-year-old and nine-year-old daughter. Could never imagine this. Me being, or my children being a victim of this. I would absolutely lose my mind. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. And um, my mission statement on my channel is to exploit and expose evil because that's what God wants us to do. My mission statement is Ephesians 5.11 on the about section of my channel, which goes, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Have a nice rest of the day, and God Bless. Vision of the sun.